I was expecting a relief rally after the trade truce. We didn't get one, Julian. What's happening? Well, we got one Sunday evening for... Uh, it was like this big and lasted about this exactly, long, right? Exactly. Exactly. Look, you follow the news flow the last couple of days. It's very clear that things aren't going as well as perhaps looked like they were going uh, on Sunday. And obviously, uh, the tension around whether the North Korea meeting is going to happen or not certainly has exacerbated. Please, are we really trading North Korea and the Kim Trump summit? Is that what's happening here? Well, if you look at 2017, we were fading all of these moves, and people learned that that was the <laughs> wrong thing to do. Political risk matters. It matters in, in the medium term. And, you know, when the risk reward of these potential outcomes are as high as they are, you know, we do have to listen. Mike Schumacher, I, t I tweeted out the wall of worry and the things on it. I came up with like nine. Q1 earnings as good as it gets. Treasury yields near multi-year heights. Crude near multi-year highs. The J put, nothing like the Janet put. Eurozone growth disappointing. Italian bonds getting battered. The dollar a raise in 2018 losses. EMFX getting beaten up and then in there for Julian Emmanuel, the Trump-Kim summit. Why are we all worried about these things now? I just want to get under my desk at this point. It's terrible. <laughs> no, look, I mean, you've got a lot of things coming together, I think, Jonathan, and that's the issue. And I think on top of this, and really you alluded to this with the Jay put, the central banks have been at people's back for a long time. Yeah, no, they're really not. And I think that's another big change. But when you think about the calendar for the next few weeks, it is pretty scary. Trump and Kim, maybe they get together, maybe they don't. Who knows? The Fed on the 13th. And of course, the all-important World Cup starts on the 14th. Might be a big day for you. I'm not sure. But a lot of things. That's the date that actually together. matters, Mike. There you go. Right. <laughs> it was the opening match anyway. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. I mean, yeah. Julian, they might be things to worry about. Are they reasons to de-risk? Actually, they are reasons to eventually expect new highs in the market. There you go. Run me through that. Yeah. So basically, you know, our view has been if you look at nine years of this bull market, it is, we've used the phrase a number of times, but it is true, the most hated bull market of all time. January, the wall came down. February, the stock market came down. If you go back to the beginning of May, and I remind, remind you that the S&P is up 3% in the month of May so far, obviously, that will be less after today, most likely. Uh, small caps are up 6%. You go back to the beginning of May, and people were absolutely apocalyptic, thinking that we were going to make new lows. Yep. F flash forward to a few days ago, sentiment was almost ebullient because we were going to settle North Korea, we were going to settle China, and now in 48 hours we've swung back the other way. And the fact is, when the wall is sufficiently re rebuilt, that's when markets rally.